hey guys welcome back to my channel oh my god yo he's so annoying like oh my god hey guys as you know i was doing my wig cap off camera so that's exactly what i did so now i have this um 13 by 6 12 inch wig that it, it came black so and i put some highlights in it so now i put it on my head and i'm trying it on i get i realize that the wig cap is really small for my head now i'm about to use the bold hole glue on my um around the edges i know right this is my first layer i normally put three layers but for this video i'm gonna put two layers of it After I finish adding the glue, I use my Rattatail comb to like smudge it out. For me, smudging it out makes the glue dries really fast. Like, because before, I would just put the glue on and just try to use my blow dryer to dry it and let it stay how it stay. But when I use the Rattatail comb, it actually dries really fast. And I actually love that. That's a new hack that I found. I went on YouTube and actually learned that. So now I'm using the blow dryer to blow um to dry the glue so it could go clear. And when it go clear, I'm able to put the the wig down. So now is where all the struggle begun. So I put the middle part down first because I'm like, okay, that's the part that needs to go first. Then I went to the right side. I went to the right side and I'm like, okay, the right side went good. So now it was the left side now that was giving me the problem like I had help pulling it forward like I had to unhook the back and be like okay let me push it up more so I could get more um more pull on it like it was it was tight like honestly it was tight that's the only thing I didn't like about the wig that it was tight and the wig cap was really small like see i had to uh, literally i had to hold it down before i even put the um the melt belt on it so now i'm like i'm adding the melt belt around it because for me it was tight so adding the the melt belt actually helped like you know hold it in place for me so that's exactly what i did So right now I took I took off the melt belt and I think yes I took it off to like use the comb to brush the hair back because for some reason I felt like it wasn't on the um the edge of the um the wig I feel like it was at the edge of the wig at all and I was just combing it out so I put it back up and I ended up putting the melt belt melt belt back around it a second time and this time when I put the milk belts around it, I think I let it stay for like a good 10, 15 minutes tops. Yeah. As you can see, I just put it back, you know, I put it around it back and it snapped out my hand. That hurt, like, it hurts. When that happened, it hurts. We just gotta suck it up because you wanna look pretty. So now I'm removing the melt belt like it's a struggle my boyfriend was talking to me right there who's been extra i took it like soon as i took it off 
I cut the arm lace into three because I was like, enough is enough. It's time for me to take it off because I felt like I messed up, but I end up fixing it. So I started with the left side because every single time I cut a lace, I feel like I never cut the left side correctly. So I started with the left side and don't mind my fingers. I was dying. I was watercoloring a wig and I was using yellow watercolor and my fit now my fingers are yellow so i'll use the scissors and i went in zigzag motion to cut it because i didn't tint the lace i'm like i was scared because i'm like i didn't tint the lace so i don't know how it would end up looking so that's what i did So after I finished cutting the lace off, I used a napkin and some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, to get rid of the glue because I realized that I put too much glue. Now I don't think it's, no I didn't put too much glue, it's the fact that the lace, um, the, the cap was really small and I had to pull it and everything didn't go on the glue properly. So now I'm using my tint spray around the edges of the wig because I didn't tint it and then I'm using that same alcohol and napkin to like clean up around where the tint spray went on my skin so that's what i did and after i used the tint spray and i cleaned up i used the wonder lace bond spray like that spray is really when i said that spray is good that spray is good like I, you know you can literally put your um lace wig on using the spray and it will hold but because i'm extra i have to use the glue too but after i use the um the wonder spray i put the melt belt back around it to make it like you know make, make that um that lace melt we're gonna make that lace melt right now that's exactly what we're about to do make that lace melt see how i'm tight like i dragged that melt belt tight my ears was actually hurting from dragging it that tight so this wig is from amy's and when i say it's really when i say soft i mean soft like this wig is soft it's a 12 inch black it came in black and i did a little highlight the wig is really really soft like i love it like i love it now i'm about to style my hair i decided that i wanted some curl so that's exactly what i did i put some curl up in there to look good like i'm in love with curls especially curls on short hair especially it looks really 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 good Yo, i was curling this wig and my hand started killing me like my hand was just like yeah time for you to give up girl and i got burned like twice right see right there i got burned right exactly there i got burned shaking my head but we're coming to the end of this video just stay a little bit longer to see the end results of this bomb wig like the end result is coming up guys just wait on it. it's coming it's coming